Hello everybody, happy Sunday, Naughty Nana does. How's everybody? I'm doing just fine, the weather's gorgeous outside by the way, it's almost 15 degrees Celsius here, which is fabulous, it's in the 60s, gotta love it. So today, you asked for it, you got it. We're doing a campaign ad, that's right. We're gonna do one, Ted Cruz, current senator of Texas, versus Colin Allred next senator of Texas. That's right. Ted Cruz, who goes to the border, gets his close-up regularly, spews a bunch of lies. He's Elmo-hating. He's LGBTQ-hating. And did he tell you he has a podcast three times a week? And then there's Colin Allred, professional football player, young, handsome, very pleasant, fresh ideas. And people like him, Ted. They really do. And he's getting endorsed by all the unions, like the firefighters and the teachers. You know all the people that you don't give a shit about? That's right. And Ted Cruz. I'm so proud to endorse Donald J. Trump for president. Gee, Ted, for an educated man. Graduated from Princeton in 1992. Bachelor of Arts cum laude, where you studied public policy. He went to Harvard, became a lawyer. You graduated with a Juris Doctor degree and magna cum laude. That's supposed to mean you're smart. And one of your professors, I kept my underwear on Alan Dershowitz, said that he was off the chart brilliant. Really? And then you went on to be a law clerk for the conservative judge, J. Michael Ludick. You know, the one that said that Trump caused that insurrection? Yeah. You law clerked for that man. You would have thought you would have learned something. Um, and you clerked for Justice William Rehnquist. Seriously. Normally, they don't let stupid people do that. But anyway, it sounds like you have awesome credentials, right? You're a lawyer, so that means you know the law, right? then why is it you disregard all the laws and everything you know to create conspiracy theories and outright lies about things that have irrefutable proof? You know, evidence? That's a lawyer word. To the contrary, you say and do some very stupid, childish, and shady stuff, like saying the election was rigged. Seriously, Ted? Smart man? Mm -mm. Now, you used to call Trump a bully and a liar because he said that your wife was ugly and that your father was in cahoots with his commie pal, Lee Harvey Oswald. Just like everything the mango moose knuckle puts out there, always, always remains out there. And anybody can look it up. You know? Everything you hated about Donald Trump, you've become. Because you're a sucker and a loser. Just saying. Now, this was Raphael's first uh, lesson on how gullible people can listen to anything you say. You know, listen to the smart people. Book smart's one thing, people smart's another. Just saying. You have no problem repeating a gossipy little tidbit that you hear on Newsmax or 8chan, 12chan, whatever chan, whatever the hell that shit is on those things. And you put it out there on your thrice weekly podcast, whatever you want to say. And that's the spot where you pick to spin so many yarns. You've spun so many yarns and lies and tales on that show that you could make a scarf for the entire globe. Just saying. You talk about your faith and your faith leaders, yet you and Heidi support and entertain these faith leaders that went to Africa and talked to leaders like the Uganda president to encourage him to pass the Kill the Gays bill. Now, in all fairness, Ted, you did condemn that. You did. You condemned that bill in uh, Uganda. But in Republican Jesus, Texas, mm -mm -mm, you voted against equality, uh, same-sex marriage, and you opposed the passing of the Equity Act. So everybody's equal? Yeah, all in the name of Jesus, of course. And you mock the men and women of the military, Ted. That's not a good thing. 
uh, saying American soldiers are too woke. And then you showed a video of Russian soldiers. Oh, they're all big buff chests and all their tats. You were getting right off on that, Ted, I'm sure. And you said the more brutal on the battlefield, the more masculine they are. Well, Ted, you don't go show them Putin's videos in your great country of the United States of America. That, to me, is being a traitor. Just saying. Um, then, to offset that video, you showed a video of a young uh, female in the Army who, in her recruitment ad that uh, they asked her to do, mentioned her two moms. And you said, perhaps a woke, emasculated military is not the best idea. Oh, Ted. She could whoop your ass with one arm in a sling. She'll show you who's emasculated. No kidding. He's obsessed with action figures. Have you noticed? And maybe a little disappointed with the lack of genitalia on some of them, and he rags on Disney for being woke and promoting a lesbian toy. Seriously, a lesbian toy. You know they're not real, right, Ted? They're toys. From the... Buzz Lightyear movie. Then he says uh, he says that uh, most toys are androgynous, usually without genitalia. Does that mean that he's hanging out at Toys R Us, just ripping the clothes off dolls to see what's there? Ted, you're a freak. Seriously, get some help. He gets it uh, into Twitter wars with Seth Rogen for. God's sake, Seth Rogen. But you always come out a loser every time. Face it, Ted. You're just not as cool as Seth is. Just say it. He was upset that Big Bird, yes, the Sesame character, because he was promoting government propaganda. Vaccines. Where are we when we're talking about government propaganda? There was only a few countries during the Second World War that was talking about propaganda. It wasn't the United States. Then he came after Elmo. He said, You then have Elmo aggressively advocating for vaccinating kids under five. Ted, it's a friggin' Muppet. Muppets aren't aggressive. Have you noticed? Elmo is annoyingly pleasant and cute. Annoyingly so. But he's a Muppet. He's a toy. He's not aggressive about anything. Sweet suffering Jesus, forgive me. Not Republican Jesus. He came after Barbie. Okay, when it got to Barbie, I, I'm wearing pink, right? When it came after Barbie, he made my, roll, uh, my eyes roll so hard, I checked out my own ass. That's how bad that was. So this is what I have to say. Please. Go vote. Make sure you're registered because the Texas purge is on once again. Make sure you're registered and go vote Colin Allred for Senator of Texas. That's right. Go vote, vote, vote. Blue, blue, blue. This, is, uh, this ad is not paid for or solicited by. And yes, I do approve this message. Naughty Nana loves you. Be good, be safe, take care of you. If you're new to the channel, give it a subscribe. If you hate your family, show them this video. Just saying, Naughty Nana loves you. Be good to you.